Hi everybody, look at this cool view. <laughs> so if you didn't know already, this is this is Iron Harvest, but this is the photo mode um, inside um, GeForce Now. Unfortunately, at the moment, Iron Harvest doesn't have a photo mode. In fact, it doesn't really have a, a pause mode. Well, you can pause the game. But you don't get to see the don't get to see the map, so you can actually use this just as, as a pause mode to look around. But if you press Control Two rather than you're in GeForce Now, you get access to their Ansel uh, Photo app, which isn't just a straight screen um, grab. You actually go into the game engine, and you can actually move around and choose the image you want to take. Now, different games will support this in different ways. Some won't support it. Some will. Um, some it will just be a straight screenshot you'll take. I've seen Iron Harvest. We can we can zoom in and we can we can spin around and we can get exactly the angle we want before we take our picture. But the other thing you can do as well is you can um, add filters. So we could, if so, as you can see, I've got the letterbox filter on, I've got the sharpen filter on, and I've got the vignette. So that's Let's get rid of those, like so. So that's what you'd see to start off with. Now to move around, it's W A. Uh, is it W A S? Yeah, W A S D, and it's kind of moving your camera in 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 real space. And then you use you click, you left click and drag around with your mouse to kind of to move around that way. And then you've got. X to go down, Z to go up. Then, if you press, as it, I think, if you press, press Shift, it goes faster. Um, as you can see with Iron Harvest, it doesn't really render the background um, that well because it doesn't need to because you're never look, never looking at it. But look, so, so, so obviously at the moment we're in the front of the mechs, but we can just as easily move around. And go up. And get round the back of the mechs. <laughs> I love this. And kind of see what they're attacking. Now, as you can see, we're, we're only seeing a bit of the picture because we're seeing the right hand side. Whereas obviously there's the, um, there's the left hand side as well over here but then when we kind of get our framework how we want it see what's over this side so if we kind of we can zoom in a bit can't we something like that because we know that mech is going to be on display and then let's add a filter so what should we have we could do it in black and white um and then you can, within the filters, you can set that certain one of them have got different uh, modes. So there's old film. So again, if we took a picture like that, you'd have all these the marks on it. I think that's particularly cool, isn't it? Let's take a picture like that. That's a snap. Um, let's get rid of that one. Let's do. Uh, What special effects? I don't even know that one. All right, it's gone all, gone all bright. I'm not sure if I like that one. Let's get rid of that one. What color? What about that? <laughs> okay, so we need. Paint detail. We need something like this, don't we? That's quite cool, isn't it? But then we'd probably want to increase the saturation a bit. Oh, I like that. It's like a watercolour of um, <laughs> in harvest. Fantastic. So there we go. So you can 
you can play around with it to your heart's content. Um, ooh, let's get rid of that. But as I said, what's really cool, I think, is the fact that as, as the, not only that, but you can really have a look around the battlefield as well. Um, I mean, when, when we get a proper photo mode for Iron Harvest, you'll be able to do this sort of within the, you know, within the game. But for now, this is within GeForce Now, the game streaming service from NVIDIA. In fact, um, I think if you've got a um, NVIDIA uh, card, you can download the GeForce Experience, can't you? Which allows you to do this. But the fact that you can do this through the streaming service is uh, absolutely amazing. And they actually really see, you know, the fantastic work that they've done with the look of this game. Looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. Anyway, there we go. That's enough from me. If you've got any questions, put them in the comment box down below. If you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I'll see you again soon.